Today I'm going to go on one of my walks that really gets my heart working and my lungs working. I'm going to go up the hill here around the orchard. This building that you see right here, this is part of Journey to Bethlehem. Right where I'm standing right now is where the little shepherd scene is set up and then all of a sudden the angels will sing up from atop that and the lights will come on glory to god in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward men this is storage for journey to bethlehem this door is padlocked and only Jay has the key to keep people from going up there. Here you see a number of the apple trees and you can see that there should be a pretty good harvest this year of apples. I do not know what type of apples there are. The hill is real steep. I enjoy doing this one because it really gets my blood circulating. I will not try to walk and video at the same time. It's amazing to realize that these trees were planted over 30 years ago. Tim Harley comes in, he'll trim, and he'll put out bug traps for the trees. When I moved here, this was one of our favorite hills to go sleigh riding down during the snows. A lot of fun. That's when I moved here and 1955 and a lot of fun time was happening here. Here is a stand of blackberry bushes. They're in blooming right now. So later on, midsummer, be able to come up here and pick some blackberries. Here you see more of the orchard over here in the distance. My father, Lowell Litton, was asked to teach here at Shenandoah Valley Academy. He had a chance to basically buy this hill. I now call this Faculty Hill, even though not many of the faculty live there, the house right there was built by Bill Strickland, which was a good friend of my fa father. Anyway, Dad had an idea that he wanted to build a house right here where this house is located. Well, he got a chance to go work in the MV department in the general conference. And so that dream left when he did. We are basically at the top of the orchard, the hill here, looking down upon Central Valley Adventist Elementary School. I taught 12 years there, and now one of my students is teaching there, Melissa Harley. Fun times. This section here at the top is set up. The Pathfinders will come up here all times, 
and sleep out on a weekend and they'll work on some of their skills camp craft skills also it's used uh, the uh, girls would come up here on a Saturday night the boys would be taken off elsewhere and they could camp out here if they wanted to very nice place These two little trees right here, those are peach trees. And I guess the others have died off that were planted there. Here at the northwest section of the orchard, these are a few plum trees. the northwestern corner of the orchard. This is what is called a burn pile. Later on they will come here and burn this off. This is a lot of the brush that is taken from the academy. Right now there is Brandon. He's picking some strawberries that are ripe already. How many strawberries? A bunch of them? Yeah, we got like two boxes of like uh, four of these. All right. So it looks like he has, uh, he says two boxes of four each. I guess those are quart size. And here, they were planted 17,000 ever bearing strawberries. And they are started to bear. And so, it's great. This corn was started in the greenhouse, and then replanted out here in the rows. That dark stuff is biodegradable, but uh, Philip promises that he'll be able to sell corn by the 4th of July. Here you see some seeds that were just planted in the hills and then there is some lettuce and then other are a lot of the greens cauliflower cabbage kale a lot of those greens on to the left toward the big greenhouse this is the road looking back up toward the burn pile orchard is the other side of those trees there and going on down down here is where they store some of the thing for the journey to Bethlehem one of the things they'll be bringing logs in they'll saw those up because it takes a lot of fires to keep going and they have pallets of rocks that they'll place around Here we're looking into the back end of the large greenhouse. There's Mindy over there. She's the one that works with the flowers. These are some of the rocks that are used to help with the journey to Bethlehem to make everything authentic and more storage there to the left. This building right here is where they store the different panels that they build Journey to Bethlehem. The small wooden building to the right, that is the place where baby Jesus will be seen on the journey to Bethlehem. This building used to be the box factory. Now this is where they will sell the produce for Emmanuel's ground. This plant right here is milkweed. 
see the little florets on the top. If you take these flowers and boil them in water, and a little salt, very good eating. I am just about back to where I started. There are the camp meeting units. I'm guessing Potomac Conference planted these bushes right alongside the creek here. They cleaned out some of the extra brush along there. So it looks really good. They're planning to have a shortened version of camp meeting again this year. Okay. The little walk that I went on is a, just a tad over a half a mile. No, pardon me. Yeah. And it was good. So Ramblin' Rusty, signing off for now. Please subscribe and see where I'll be next time.